Hello, everyone. My name is Charles Davidson. I want to welcome you to Philippines After Dark. I'm coming to you live from Cebu, Philippines. Um, welcome to you if you're on YouTube and if you're on Facebook. In today's episode, we're going to cover Drama Getty. We're going to cover a brand launch for the God Principles. This episode is going to be about big money mistakes that people make here in the Philippines, especially expats. My name is Charles Davis, and I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm waiting for Michelle. She's going to show up shortly. She had some topics that of particular interest. Hopefully, she'll show up. If not, uh, I'll make a separate video like I did last week. The first thing I want to do is drama getting. There was an expat here, he got arrested, and now he's in prison and he's waiting um, trial and he's gonna be extradited to the US. The funny thing about it is I interviewed this guy. Let me see if I can share a screen with you. Yes, all right, here we go. This guy here, he was arrested in Dramageddy, and so now he's sitting in prison. If you want to go and see his story, it's on the God Principles. It's under why we moved from the U.S. to the Philippines a year ago. Here's why. You can see his story. It's the most popular story on my channel. He has over 12,000 views of this story. You want to listen to it. It's very interesting. The next thing we want to do is I want to cover something very important. Give me a second here. The next thing is I want to have a real exciting announcement to make. A lot of people have been watching YouTube and this is an announcement for the YouTubers that YouTube is about to make and may have made already a dramatic change. I'll become aware that they are funneling traffic to channels with low viewership that are non-monetized. That means it's going to be a significant drop in uh, your ad revenue. And you got to figure out some other way to monetize your channel. Um, and that's what I'm talking about, the God principles. I've been providing consulting, like I consulted with that guy in the previous video, on how to manage their life, life coaching, and dealing with emotional trauma. I get a lot of requests of people wanting some sort of consulting services like how to make money over here, uh, how they're dealing with their relationships and all of those areas. So what I have decided to do, which was part of my original plan, it was to create a second outcome for you to relate to coming here to the Philippines. This is the website. It's called the Guide Principles. It's an app. You'll be able to log in. You'll be able to subscribe. It's going to give you the opportunity to connect with me on a personal level. I'm going to be going deeper into content. If you see the news, you need to improve your health, wealth, and relationships. One of the big things I see coming over here is that people have health issues and they continue to have unhealthy eating practices that later cause them problems. The number one issue here with Filipinas is heart attacks. You can Google it, heart attacks, and it comes from the eating style and eating this Filipino food. 
because just like in America, it is nutritionally deficient. And so now we, when we come over here, we look at the food, it tastes great. It's got a lot of salt on it, maybe even some MSG, but then we start to consume it. And if we're over 40 or 50, it's going to cause some health issues. I'm going to start covering healthy eating on my channel. You'll be able to go to the guide principles. The link is in the description and you'll be able to subscribe, you can download the app and get notifications because I'm providing services for consulting, how to make money offline and things that you can do to improve your life. I'm still waiting on Michelle. It looks like I'm probably going to have to record that separately. But anyway, that's what's going on here in Cebu, Philippines. Uh, there was a couple of topics that I wanted Michelle to cover. Uh, an Australian employer had to pay the price and business here in the Philippines. That's what I'm going to cover right now. But what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to subscribe, to go over to the God Principles, my newsletter, subscribe there so that we can continue to provide you the services and the news that you need to know to keep yourself healthy, wealthy, and wise. Business in the Philippines. Michelle was approached by another Filipina about purchasing a business. It was an established business and the, the person that wanted to sell it was the husband of a Filipino woman and they're getting divorced and she has to go back to Canada. I hear a lot of these stories. And so I consulted with Michelle about the brand that she was trying to buy. Realize my background is as a brand strategist and a digital marketer, and I've been doing this for over 40 years. And that's one of the things I do in my consulting services. If you have a business, you want to become a business owner, and how do you bring it online? And how do you make money online other than YouTube? Because YouTube is probably getting saturated. And then because it's becoming saturated with content, you have to figure out other ways to monetize it, which I've done. And you can subscribe to the God principles and there are going to be some other subscriptions that I have created, which teach you how to do business online. And it's another channel that I'm coming up called the real Charles K Davis. That one is going to be a spiritual channel on manifestation, metaphysics, spirituality, and how you can live a life beyond your wildest dreams. But back to what I was saying, the brand strategy. When I was with brothers in the Philippines, there are people that are leaving the Philippines or going to Manila, which is currently underwater, as a matter of fact. They had a flood. They had a, a typhoon. And it, it did messed up Manila. It is messed up. Do not live in Manila. I did that research. It's like, do not move in Manila because they, they get them typhoons and it floods the city. It is a mess, a real mess. And if you can provide any of the assistance, I'm going to ask my subscribers to try to find some way to donate something to that cause. But I digress. When buying a business over here in the Philippines, especially from an established business owner, you're going to have to ask the question, why are you selling? Because the businesses over here are not franchises. They are personal businesses. Or they may be franchises that are already saturated and you won't be able to invest in one because an expat cannot fully own a business here. They could only own 40%. Therefore, you must partner up with a Filipina. And what I'm finding is, is that if the relationship doesn't work, it causes some issues. 
However, back to buying a business. If it's a personal business, you have to be concerned about the personal brand. It is built upon that Filipina's personality about her connections that she's made with the Filipinas here, which will support her because she's a Filipina. Now, in the case of what Michelle was being involved in, her husband and her was Canadian. They're getting a divorce. And so now he wants to sell the business. And my question is, what's going to happen to the business once she's gone? Because Michelle, she wants to take it over. And I'm saying, wait a minute, you're going to need a transition plan. Because just because you buy it, that doesn't mean these Filipinos are going to support you. It doesn't mean that. I've seen some real things about businesses over here. We try to start them up, local businesses. Some of them have been very successful. Some people have started some businesses and they become millionaires. It is possible, but you have to know what your leverage is. They're like, for instance, the lemonade stands here in the mall. That's owned by an African-American and his Filipino wife. But he started a business that they can't start because they don't have the knowledge. Then there's another guy. He has them going out, picking up um shells the shells with the uh silvery lining and he takes those and he sells them to his distributors and i've been told this is hearsay he makes over three hundred thousand dollars a year but he's scared to leave because he knows that the filipinas will take the business the only problem is they don't know how to distribute it outside the philippines those are the kind of things you got to be concerned about. Click like and click share. Philippine uh, Michelle is not making it. I'm going to make, make arrangements to have some healthy food issues from uh, one of the other bloggers. I thank you for watching. My name is Charles Davis, and this is The God Principles.